Yo people, LWT dot digital back again with another one. I hope your week's gone well. We're going into the weekend now. I want to talk about XRP and the news regarding XRP. So, Smartarium has an article which I was having a read through. Okay, now lots of the information involved in this article is information that us as XRP huddlers are very well familiar with okay however it got me thinking when I read this article because there's so much information in it for a beginner in XRP <clears throat> it goes from price predictions you know it's talking about uh, you know today's price and uh, all sorts you know it goes back to the history of XRP and it basically just gives you a brief summary I shouldn't even say brief because it's actually quite long but it summarizes XRP in a nutshell you know what I'm saying so if you don't know anything about XRP you can literally read this article now, I was in the gym today and I was speaking to a guy um, I normally speak to him at the gym um, when when we go in the spa so I like to relax in the spa in the jacuzzi and uh, my friend he likes to come in and talk to me when I'm in the jacuzzi trying to relax, trying to sleep, but this guy talks to me anyway, but yeah, he's a good guy, man. But anyway, he knows that I'm into cryptocurrency and, you know, he does invest in a lot of properties and whatnot and, you know, I'm constantly telling him about cryptocurrency and uh, today we were talking about, you know, his portfolio and all that sort of stuff. So he was talking about uh, making some investments. So he was talking about gold and uh, silver and... Uh, we got onto talking, of course, the, the, it was always going to head towards cryptocurrency. And he kind of spoke about Bitcoin. And he says to me today, he says, uh, you know, what's that uh, What's that cryptocurrency that, um, you know, is uh, uh, that one that does payments, trans, uh, transferring payments? I was like, well, of course, that's XRP. And he goes, that's it, XRP. I said, well, how do you know about XRP? Because I talked to him about cryptocurrency, but... Generally, people that don't know much about cryptocurrency, they're always going on about Bitcoin. So I quite happily talk to them about Bitcoin. But um, yeah, today he asked me about um, XRP. And, uh, you know, he says basically, you know, where he works, he's constantly got the news on and he's constantly seeing stuff about this token, XRP, you know. And um, so I kind of like spoke to him about XRP and, you know, spoke to him about how, you know, it's just a great asset and, you know, um, the risk reward against him putting his money into the foreign exchange and, uh, you know, putting it into, you know, cryptocurrency and, of course, XRP. Um, so that got me thinking, you know, because he says he's going to look into it. He's going to look into, you know, maybe, you know, um, selling some assets and then putting, putting something into uh, uh, the cryptocurrency market. But he wants to diversify. He doesn't want to go all in on cryptocurrency. He wants to get into the foreign exchange as well as cryptocurrency. But I told him, you know what, get a financial advisor anyway. Okay. But yeah, um, seeing this article made me think this this would be a good article for him to read. And you know, there's lots of, there's so much news that you know it's it's there's so much news in regards to XRP that it's overwhelming. You know, for someone to look at all this news, they, they would they would probably finish their day by, you know, chucking a big chunk of money into XRP if they had some money set aside for investing. I, I think that, that, you know, all the news, all the good news that is constantly coming out about XRP is just going to cause people to just flood this market sooner or later. I know we're seeing a bit of a bear market at the moment, but, you know, that's, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's minor. Like, that's not going to last forever. Okay, and it could end in the very near future anyway. So I'm just going to go through a few points on this article if you bear with me. Um, I'm not going to read it all out, okay? So I'm going to look at the bold titles and I'm going to kind of give you uh, my take on a few of these things. So, you know, ripple price predictions, you know, I don't get into price predictions, all right? Because that's just, it's disappointing when people come up with price predictions sometimes. I know where I expect it to be, but what I do is I invest. I mean, based on a lot of the price predictions, I mean, even if, my portfolio goes to a fraction of some of those predictions, like 589 and 
you know, 334 and stuff like that, you know, I'm not really, I mean, I have, I have two bags of XRP, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a raspy voice today, I've had a cough all week, but yeah, I'm okay to speak anyway, so, I've got two bags of XRP, and um, one of them, I am definitely huddling long term, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, the other one, it's, it's kind of, um, you know, I haven't really decided, you know what I'm saying, but there's definitely um, certain price points that I'm going to be looking to potentially take profit on and then, uh, you know, keep that money on the side and potentially buy the dips, you know, so I can accumulate more XRP. So that's just a brief outline of my strategy in regards to XRP. Now, do excuse me. Like I said, I do have a cough and I'm not feeling too well. But, um, yeah, I didn't want to go into the weekend without giving you guys something, okay? Now, can XRP reach around 8 to $10 by the end of the year? Um, I believe it's definitely attainable. Um, but if it doesn't happen, you know, so I look at end of the year, sometimes you can, you can change that to beginning of the year because if it's not at the end of the year, you know, people could end up thinking, oh, you know, it's not going to happen, and they sell their XRP, then before you know it, January comes, beginning of the year, mid-Jan, excuse me, mid-January or early February, XRP goes to the moon. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not, you know, I'm holding XRP, you know. And like I said, I just mentioned my strategy. I would potentially sell some. If, if Ripple did reach $10, I would probably sell uh, because I know it's going to, go back down slightly you know nothing goes up in straight lines okay it's normally a rocky road up to the top you know so uh it goes uh, this article goes into uh you know xrp and uh you know today's price and um kind of gives you an outline of xrp you know if you're an amateur on xrp it's definitely going to help you here we go to history when ripple was created in 2012 um goes into what rip was about and whatnot okay um then we've got a 10 year price prediction you know I'm not going to get into numbers okay like if if fact let's get into numbers let's see what they say so they, so they say based on current projections most people within the business agree that ripple xrp value can go up to the 200 300 200 to 300 dollar range in 10 years this company, it's in the company's best interest if the price continues to rise because it will make XRP less volatile. That's definitely true. You know, if the price does rise, um, it will become less volatile. Um, the more money that floods into the market, the more stable the price will be. Uh, you won't see violent fluctuations like you do at the moment. It will kind of become more like the foreign exchange market. Um, so, you know, if you're buying now, then you're definitely in early. It kind of summarizes how Ripple is different from other cryptocurrencies. Um, it talks about price appreciation. Okay. Now, the price has to appreciate in order for, for XRP to reach its true potential in its use case. Okay. And um, we all know that anyway, so I'm not going to get into that. It is what it is. If, if if I was just, if I just heard about XRP right now, you know, and, I, and I, I saw all of this news, constantly good news coming out every single day, every single day, you know, that's just, I mean, I don't understand how that can not be bullish. Still don't understand how people out there hating XRP, you know, regardless of whether you like XRP or not, okay, whether you're into this whole regulation stuff or not, okay. You need to take your emotions out of your investing strategy and kind of like read in between the lines. Yeah, XRP is it's, it's being built up to be the number one cryptocurrency. You know, Bitcoin, everyone was talking about Bitcoin back in 2009, 10, 11, 12. You know, Bitcoin, I mean, this is the kind of hype that Bitcoin had. 
you know, and why did everybody get into Bitcoin? Because everybody was talking about Bitcoin. So what's going on with XRP now? Everybody's talking about XRP. People are on TV talking about XRP. The news is talking about XRP. It overtook Ethereum. There's more XRP news. It's second place right underneath Bitcoin, you know, and it's coming swiftly. It's coming slowly, but surely it's going to be the number one cryptocurrency, I believe. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This ain't financial, financial advice. Please do your own research when you're investing in any cryptocurrency or any asset or any digital asset. That being said, but um, yeah, this is just my opinion, you know, and uh, this is why, regardless of the fact that XRP is going down, you know, which I did, you know, know that it, I, I did, you know, kind of think, you know, it could possibly go down low, lower than what it was the other day when I bought another, you know couple of thousand five or so thousand xrp um but I'm, I'm just trying to accumulate more xrp while it's under 50 cents while it's under a dollar because it can't stay there it can't stay at that price this is the most undervalued cryptocurrency in the market at the moment if you can't see that then you really you need to open your eyes yeah because all of the news is pointing to XRP rising up from this sea of red that we're seeing across the whole space. You know, people want to complain that XRP is, oh, XRP is going down, oh, you know, so 41 cents. I mean, listen, it's not just XRP that's going down. Every single cryptocurrency on the, across the market is going down. Why? Because Bitcoin is going down. It's inevitable at the moment. But what we're seeing is XRP is holding up better than the rest of them. And this is just um, an indication of XRP decoupling from Bitcoin. You know, if we see, um, and you've got CZ Binance here on Twitter, you know, kind of like messing about. Come on, guys, you know, let's see, you know, give your reasons, or, you know, why XRP should be put on Binance. I mean, this guy's been having meetings with Ripple. Um, Ripple employees, all of that stuff, you know, I won't be surprised if, you know, all of a sudden, you do see that little notification on Binance saying, you know, XRP will be listed as base currency on, you know, such and such a date. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> and, and when you see that, by the way, there's most definitely going to be a marathon in the market, in XRP. People are going to be rushing to get into XRP. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I do apologize for my um, unprofessionalism because I am quite sick. But well, hey, guys, man, I'm only human, right? But do me a favor. If you, if you do have any support for XRP, do me a favor and just like this video because can, we can all play our part in pushing XRP, do you know what I'm saying, we we are the XRP community, we all play our part, you know, so when you like videos, then, you know, people see that, hey, look, man, this is good stuff, do you know what I'm saying, XRP is a good cryptocurrency, not only that, but do me a favour and subscribe, alright, if you love XRP, subscribe to my video, Sub uh, excuse me, Sub subscribe to my channel, please do that for me, and, um, yeah, I mean, share this video as well. You know, it's, it's not um, it's not my greatest uh, you know, video um, and I'm uh, definitely a little bit under the weather, and it's late on a Friday night, you know, early on a Saturday morning, midnight, half twelve for me, here in the UK. I don't know what time it is for you, in um, well twelve forty five. I do apologise, but I don't know what time it is or what time zone you're in. But, um, yeah, man, I'm quite tired right now. And, um, but I, I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to give you guys something. So, um, let's get the word about XRP out there. Let's get people investing in XRP. And the more people that put money into this market, and the more we will see it grow. Okay. What will this weekend hold? Leave a comment. What will next week hold? Leave a comment. What price do you 
think that it will go to by the end of the year or the beginning of next year? Leave a comment. What is your strategy? Leave a comment. You know, and, and, and listen, the purpose of you leaving these comments and answering these questions that I've just asked, like what is your strategy, for example, this is to help other XRP holders, you know, share your knowledge on XRP. This is why I make these videos, because, you know, we need to be sharing with each other our knowledge on XRP. You know what I'm saying? Because we need encouragement in a bear market like this. We need encouragement. It is very tempting to sell. It is very tempting to get emotional and do something stupid in this market. But we need to have the discipline so that we can make that life-changing crypto, that life-changing money, so that we can come out of the bottom 99% and into the top 1% and change things for good in our lives. And XRP, is XRP the ticket to that? Let me know in the comments what you think. Smash that thumbs up, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, lwt.digital. Peace.